Hi, this is DJ Johnny Boy. I'm gonna show you how to use Clean My Mac 3. So here's basically the software. The it looks basically like this. Resources it always open, but there's not much to do. So basically, this is how it works. If you press scan, it's going to start your Mac, and it might take a while, but it's worth it. Trust me. So it always goes through your system junk first, then the iPhoto junk, mail attachment site to junk, trust bin, and large note files. Large note files can consist of basically everything else in your computer except in these categories. And there are many other utilities you can use, for example, an uninstaller, maintenance, privacy, extensions, and shredder. Firstly, you always have to take a while. The first time you do this, it's going to take at least five minutes because there's a lot of stuff that you just you have to get rid of. This also includes like uh, language files which you never use. So if you use English all the time and you don't really use any other language in your computer, you know, actually uses the, you can actually use the software to get rid of everything else. So after this, you can see, yeah, make a little noise. 17.93 gigabytes ready for safe cleanup. So what this this would consist of is if you review the details, review iOS cache, user cache, system log files, language files, and so on and so on. As you can see here, for iPhoto junk, it's clean, it's fine. Scan, review files. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is basically what it would want to uh, remove from the computer. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I choose junk. You always have to be careful with this because sometimes it's going to remove the uh, backups you have. So if you don't want to remove it, I'd suggest you take watch out a bit. Also, if you remove these apps from your computer, you're not, uh, when you update your iPhone, it's not going to update the app application, so that's just all you have to do. And in trash bin, it just removes everything in your trash, so empty. Oh, clean. And you can see everything happening. Ash. Not related items. Yeah, that's just because of the Chrome still open. Mm. All right, and that's how the smart cleaner is. So you go back to start over, and that's how you do it. If you press this button here, dashboard, this will pop up. It'll show you how much. Uh, available memory you still have on your computer so categorize everything you have uh, memory so this is basically just a RAM so when it's full like this you usually just have to free up it takes a few seconds but I must warn you it uses a lot of your processor so if you just give it a few seconds so as you can see here it free ups the RAM it will like basically just be the same five minutes later but it's always good to sometimes just Clean it just for a restart on the computer, as you can see. So the wired active, inactive, and compressed. It shows you the battery life, the charge cycles, the how the health is, and everything else. It shows the processor, how it's working, if it's overusing or not. Right now it's okay, but as you can see here on these red areas, it's when we're like cleaning the computer and everything. It'll tell you the computer here, which which one it is, and how many you have, uh, how much. The files and data and everything you've actually deleted since you started using it. So all you have to do is click back and it's gone. You have the uninstaller here. It will check all your systems here. So basically, let's see. Well, I'm not going to actually get rid of anything right now, but let's say I wanted to get rid of Minecraft. You'd press this button and then all of this would happen. If you want to actually just reset your application, you just press here and it'd reset it. If you want a complete uninstallation, you just press here and then you just press uninstall, and that's basically how it happened. Maintenance is pretty simple, you just run maintenance scripts, so you can basically just uh, do stuff that you should do occasionally, but not always. But it's always good to have these it speeds up the mail and everything else. So, like if I do this, run task, done, and that's basically it. Privacy is always central again, it just removes all the stuff that you sh you'd have. So for example, for cookies, just remove and uh, I can't do it for Chrome because I'm actually using it right now, but it's got all the stuff here, so 
extensions, it's all the plugins you have in your computer, so like Skype, LastPass, Shockwave, stuff like that. It has all this stuff. So like you try to get rid of this stuff, which is disabled at the moment, but you know it's want to enable it. And the shredder is the complete delete or like erase any unwanted files or folders quickly and without leaving a trace. So this really is the best one. So like documents, uh, movies. So for example, if I wanted to get rid of this, it's just in <laughs> it's a very bad video. So you press it here, shred. Bye bye. And that's pretty much it. The view log is this. And you just go start over, and that's how it basically works. So I give it a five star review out of five because it's actually really good. It keeps your Mac clean and healthy. I just read it from it, but it's actually true. So I actually do recommend it if anyone wants to try it. But yeah, thank you very much, guys. See you later. Oops.